we've always said uh, right from the very start that you know we believe the winning post is in the sales ring and we've got to buy the right horses to to go out and, and, and race in the tangerine and hopefully continue that great run of success that we've had. We believe it's a great recipe for success and, and hopefully we've still got some more to come. Into a look at the horses, Jamie Sophisticado. Tell me a little bit about this one. Uh, so Sophisticado was a relatively cheap purchase out of the first book. Um, uh, he's a good sort by Burgundy, who we like. Um, he's out of a good race mare and glamorous girl who's just been a little bit disappointing with her progeny. but. Um, this bloke's certainly done a really good job. Um, he won his first start at Avondale quite impressively, um, in a, albeit in a small field. Um, and then we gave him a little break. Um, and we've just had to space his races a little bit because we've been struggling with his shins. Um, but certainly pleased with, with where he's at now. Um, and he was good on Boxing Day behind Palamos. Um, and he's a you know he's probably a little bit of an outsider, but he's you know certainly going well enough to be very competitive on the bubbles now tell me about his chances on the bubbles is going very well um, he brings the right form into the race to be really competitive I think he'll start favorite um, he won well at Awapuni and showed um, showed a lot of speed showed a bit of versatility there to get across from the outside and lead and then found a good kick and um, at Ellerslie the other day in the traditional lead up where we've had a good amount of luck running horses through that race he sort of set off the speed a bit and um, got caught a bit deep but was very good in the run home and, and won by a couple of lengths um, and I thought he looked really impressive. Physically he's a little bit uh, different from uh, other two-year-olds, he's, he's on the bigger side isn't he? Yeah he is, he'd be one of the bigger two-year-olds that you'll see in the field um, but everything's in proportion um, and he's got a you know, he's got a great constitution, he's a good eater um, and he's handled the work really well so um, yeah, pleased with how he's prepared and, and uh, he'd, he'd be one of the main chances. Sneaky Shark. <laughs> Sneaky Shark is one of your other chances in the race. He comes through a run at Tauranga on Friday. What did you make of that? On face value, a touch disappointing. Um, I thought he was entitled to do a little bit more, but we had had a little bit of trouble with him. He just had a bit of an ordinary blood. Um, so I think we can have him better. Um, and he is a colt that had a decent blow. Um, and I think he'll improve for the backup. Avanalo, he seems to have had a, a really dream preparation for you. Yeah, he has. Um, he went down to the South Island nice and early, and we've used um, uh, that successfully before with Avon Targe and with El Hassa, who ran second in this race. Um, he won the welcome stakes and did a good job, and he's, he's come home and um, uh, I thought he, he ran well on New Year's Day. Um, 1,200 first up. Um, off the back of a fresh and was always going to be a bit of an ass for him, but i um, pleased with how he's bounced through that and I think he's going the right way. What's he like to train? He's pretty straightforward, he's a bit of a cheeky little bugger. Um, he's very, uh, he's, he, he, he's actually pretty willing most of the time. Um, he's a cult that's got a good attitude, but he just has got a bit of cheek in him as well. Jamie Millifiore is a live chance in the Karaka Million as well. She's lucky enough to be out in the paddock. Yeah, she, uh, she lives down at the main stable, the original stable, which um, uh, Dave's had for a long time and trained a lot of winners from. And, and she gets out in a nice wee paddock on her own here during the day. So um, it seems to, to suit her way of going. And she's a stable favourite down here, obviously. In her two most recent starts, she's always been the underdog and she's come out on top. She seems to keep surprising. Yeah, she's putting together a really good record. Um, she's a lovely filly. Uh, she was a standout when Dave bought her in book two. Um, and she stepped up and won her first start well, beating Sneaky Shark. And then she was able to, um, to overcome a bit of adversity the other day at, at Taronga when she sort of had to come across heels and was still able to put in a really good performance. So um, she's certainly a filly that's got a lot of class and, and uh, presence about her and, and we're really looking forward to a sad day with her. Most of your success in the Karaka Million has been with uh, fillies. How does she compare to the likes of Avantage and Melody Bell? She's got a long way to go, um, but it's still early days, so um, she's probably a similar physical to Probabil, who is quite, you know, a tall filly, and she's by Efraj out of a Savile mare, so I guess that's sort of where that comes from. She's not a, a dead set, um, strong, you know, two-year-old with no scope. She's got it all in front of her, and she's going to be a, probably, well, we hope an even better three-year-old. Um, so I'd say she's comparable to, to probably Probabil, more so than the other two, um, just as a physical type. 
uh, but she's a beautiful filly, you wouldn't see a better sort. How do you rate her chances on Saturday? Yeah, I think she's one of our better chances. Um, I like the fact that she's a winner. Um, I think that takes them a long way. Um, she's got to handle the eight day turnaround, um, which we did with Cool as a Bill last year. Um, but she's a filly that's probably a li little bit more slight than he was. Um, so it's our job this week to make sure that she stays on her feet and, and keep her happy and keep her fresh and well. Well, Jamie, we've seen all of the two year old contenders. How do you rank them? Um, I don't think there's a lot over them. Um, I sort of said in bit earlier in the spring that we were struggling to find a real you know a real headliner um, but I think we've got a really nice even bunch of horses this year um, I think if I had to pick one at this stage it would probably be on the bubbles um, the horse is unbeaten he's been around Ellerslie um, he's come out of the race that we like to use uh, and he was impressive in winning and he's done some nice work since then so I think he's probably at the at the top of the pile at this stage and I think the TAV have found him uh, and then I really don't see a lot of difference between the other horses. Um, they've all got pl pluses and minuses. Um, and, you know, a horse like Sneaky Shark's coming off the back of a bit of an ordinary run, but we can have him better. Um, we can have Avonello better with the blinkers on. Sophisticado's improved a bit since then as well. And, and Miller Fiore, well, we've just got to keep her nice and fresh during the week and hope that she does well on the feed bin. But, um, there's a lot of different moving parts with the babies, um, um, but we've got a great team of staff and, and um, we've got the right man buying them, so hopefully we can enjoy an, another good night.